What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Temple to kick off our Syracuse Dynasty. We ended up getting the win, 31-17. to It was a pretty entertaining game throughout, very close. But thankfully, we was able to win the middle quarters, and they just could not come back from that. So that was a good way to start the Dynasty, start the season. And today, we're going to have a much tougher challenge. We're going to take on Indiana. They're ranked. And I never scout teams when I schedule or when I put the schedule together. So I had no clue if Indiana had anything, but apparently they're doing good so far. And they were borderline top 25 to, to begin with. So they're 1 0. You look at their stats, they are pretty good at everything except a turnover differential. But again, it's just one game. So who knows what they're really good at? We're going to scout them right before the game, like we always do. But before we do that, let's go over to recruiting. We're going to go after three players. First one, Brandon Sanders. We're in great shape here, number one on his list. But we got a positive pitch, which is the key there. So I think we got a really good chance of getting him. We're also going after uh, the free safety four-star out of Pennsylvania, Isaac Smith. He's already trimmed it down to his top five or number one on his list. And we got the positive pitch, which is huge. So we got 20% of our points left to spend. I had to put it on somebody, uh, and I want to go after this defense tackle. Like, we have no help here whatsoever. He would start for us this year probably. Uh, but we decided to put the rest of our points on him. When in doubt, just go after a lineman. You can't go wrong going after guys up front. And this is what we're doing here. We're number one on his list. Uh, he hasn't trimmed it down or anything, but I think we're in really good shape. We just got to keep plugging, and hopefully we can get his commitment. All right, let's head into the game. Now, I think they run a pro style, or maybe they're a spread offense per se, and I think they're a 4-3 defense. We're going to find that out here soon enough, but let's check out their uniform. Just curious, that's their default. looks pretty slick. And again, I don't use the next textures. It doesn't really fit with my uh, default 05 um, game that I'm using. But this is their way. I didn't know if they had an alternate. It looks like they don't. But we do, uh, not at, on the road. This is our only away uniform we have, which is fine. So I have no expectations for this game. It, you know, it still kind of depends on where their impact players are at, and we're just going to act accordingly. But needless to say, they should be much tougher than Temple. And then it gets even tougher after that. We got Akron to play. That should be a whole lot of fun. Good little storyline there. Bloomington, Indiana. It's been a while since I've played in this stadium. I've done a dynasty with Indiana several years ago. That was a lot of fun. Ran a similar offense. So who knows what Indiana's going to do today, but cool-looking stadium. Doesn't hold a lot of people. Perfect weather, no harsh wind. This is an ideal Power 5 dynasty if you want to take over a team like that. It just got, got to go from the bottom up in the Big Ten. Good opportunity with Indiana. And here comes the Syracuse Orange trying to turn them around. They're going to highlight their quarterback. Looks like he had a really good first game, threw up five touchdowns, but I saw three picks as well. So maybe they're just going to throw it all over the lot today. We'll see. They're going to pick Indiana to win as expected. Let's go to the coin toss. We want it. I want the ball to start second half. That's always my preference. Let's check out how good this team is. Let's go over to in-game strategy. Starting off, impact quarterback, 86 speed. So they've been going after nothing but dual threat guys. But this kid looks legit, and he's a scrambler, which means he's going to run quite a bit. If he senses any type of pressure, he's gone. They don't have an impact halfback, and that's good, but they got some good bodies here, 87 and 86. So and these two guys got some speed to them. Would love to have them in our offense. Man, I would unleash them to no end. And we got a pretty good halfback as is. But fullback, nothing here. So, the, yes, they do run a spread offense. You look at the receivers, just 84, 80, 76, 74. Uh, not bad. Uh, just okay for the conference, I guess. You look at their tight end, not bad. 85 overall, 80 speed. He's just a sophomore. He's really little. Skinny, but he can catch. He can run. This is the ideal player we need a tight end. Hopefully, we're going to get that one kid coming in for next year. Let's look at the offensive line. 92, 80. Their center is out, so that is a big drop-off. So I may try some middle blitzing with my middle linebacker. Again, we do a lot of just Tampa 2, a lot of cover 2 related things, and we may go after that guy. But 76 and 80 at right tackle. You look at their defense, I think they run a 4-3, but out of the gate, 95 overall defensive end with 86 speed. And he's got some size. This kid is an absolute unit. And you got 62 on the other end, not so much, but I'm guessing these guys are going to try to get in there 
at some point. Defensive tackle, nothing there, thankfully, but we don't run the ball enough for that to really matter. We're going to pass, you know, as much as we possibly can. But you look at linebacker, impact guy, 86 overall. Then you got a middle at 80 and 68 at right. Uh, it looks like they got some freshmen starting for them uh, this year. Corners, not a lot here. Maybe we can exploit this. I don't know if we got the talent to do so, but as much as we're going to throw, these guys are going to have a lot of work to do. Free safety, just okay, and just okay at strong safety. So it looks like their secondary isn't all that great, but they got a killer defensive end and that outside linebacker. They got a true freshman, a kicker, doesn't look all that great, and they got a punter who is just average. All right, let's get this show on the road. No impact guys on the back end. I'm going to kick it as straight as I can. And let's see if we can get something going here. Good stop there. I'm expecting them to pass quite a bit. I'm not going to blitz. Not that guy's just going to run away from it. We don't. We want him to stay in the pocket all day. Uh, let's actually do an under front on him. Going to go QB draw. Broke a tackle there, but he came down another time. So that makes it, what, second and seven or so? They're going to stay in that three wide. Uh, let's just stick with Tampa 2 some more. So I'm going to do a lot of zone. I'm going to just try to zone him to death. We'll do something like this. I'll control the middle of the field as best I can. A little screen. Good tackle. If he would have broke this tackle, then... Things could have gotten really bad because he had some room to work with. All right, so it's what, third and four? I'm going to go nickel this time and go basic cover two. I'm going to hot route my defensive end on the right side. Please don't run up the middle. I didn't think about this to make extra run the ball, and they're going to. Oh, went the wrong way. Fumble. Pick it up. Pick it up. Somebody get it. Oh, they got the ball back. That could have been huge. I did not expect them to run there, but they did. So you're going to just see a lot of zone cover two, which is going to be our Tampa two, of course, today. We're going to do an over front. Let's see what they do now. We don't need them to run a lot of option or anything. Get over there. Good. Oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> Would have been nice to have that one. I don't. I would love to blitz, but I just can't. I just. I think that dude's going to run away from it a lot. So we'll just stick with our soft cover two. I'm going to do that under front this time. Nobody open. Uh, this is the, this is what you worry about. This is the weakness of Tampa, too. Thankfully, he th made a bad throw. But I need elite safeties back there. And it's going to be a lot of one-one situations. I'm supposed to control the deep middle as well, but there was just nobody over the deep middle, so I didn't have to go that far. So in this case, again, we'll just stick with Tampa, too. Now you're going to see me go a little bit deeper this time. Especially if there's somebody coming over there, over the middle. We'll see if that happens. Like, make a play, impact player. That's what you got to think. Say you got to have elite safeties back there to make it work. So the problem is we're on the five-yard line right here. But a great play by McPherson. I may get a good thumbnail right there. Let me go ahead and get that while I'm here. It's just a one-on-one -on -one situation. Like I said, this is what you... This is why you need good safeties to make plays like this. I'm going to go something like this, maybe. That would be a pretty good thumbnail. That's a, a possibility. Let's just go ahead and take that one while we're here. So we're on the left hash. i got to be really careful. I'm going to go empty. Let's go slot outs. This will probably go to either Martin or Green, depending on the coverage. Nothing there. Ooh, that was shoo. Did you see that linebacker over there? I thought he was going to pick this off. Look, he came down right there, and I'm thinking, Arr! but no, he ended up being, he was way off of it. Nice. Good throw. We can stay here second and six. Uh, let me look, see what we got. Deep attack, deep outs. Let's do Y screen. They're going man. We'll go to somebody on the right side. Looks like they're going to at least cover one, and they are. We'll just go over here. Get a good catch by Abney. First down. We can stay in this formation, or I can go to spread, but let's just stay here. I feel like we're in a groove. Let's go corner strike. 
they don't have any crazy excellent secondary players, so I can go deep a little bit more today, I think. But they're going zone here, so we'll either go to Martin or Bennett. Syracuse. Nope, can't go over there. We'll just go right here and a drop. Let's go spread. Let's go P. Reed. Just in case we need to hand the ball off because Martin needs his touches. And I think we're going to hand him the ball. I think we got the numbers to do it. We're going to go down side. Can he get He's not the fastest in the world, but we are going to get the first down. Good little play there. I'm going to go back to empty. Let me see what we got here. Let's do cross seams. They're going zone. We will either go to, can I motion him out? Let me try something here. Nope, we can't do it. So we're going to go to Bennett or Meyer on this one. Can't go over the middle there. We'll just actually lost about a yard or two on that one. I, I wasn't too patient on that one. So second and 11. Let's try deep attack. Let's see if we can attack those safeties, which aren't, again, not look at that secondary. It's just not the best in the world. So it looks like they are going zone. Good little throw. They blitzed. I don't know if you saw that or not, but they blitzed from this impact linebacker spot, leaving, and they went cover two, which made it even easier. So we hit this drop, hit that little post route over the middle, get a first down there. All right, so we're in the middle of the field. What I like to do when I'm in the middle of the field, I'm going to bring out gun tight. If it'll let me do it. Okay, we're going to get a replay. Hey, it's not going to be the best angle in the world, but Good catch. So we're on the move. Let's go back to, I'm going to go gun tight. I'm going to go to this play. Where's it at? Wide receiver corners. They're going zone on this one. Uh, this I'm going to just keep this one pretty simple. We'll just go over here to Martin. Pick up about six or seven yards there. Now we're back to the right hash. I'm going to go back to empty. Let's go switch, smash. We have some interesting happening, things happening here. They're going man. I'd love to hit somebody on the left side. Let's just see what those safeties do first. They're going cover one. I have to go over here to Bennett. Not a lot open on that one. And I, I was about to get sacked. I think someone on the left side got to me. It was close. So we dodged a bullet there. So that makes it, what, third and one? I'm going to go screen. And they're going zone. So we're just going to bounce this over to Martin and see if he can pick up the first down. And that shift doesn't help things. But we'll go over here to see if we can get a first down there. Keep the drive alive. So we're slowly getting down the field. I think I'm going to go back to empty. A smash I want to leave to the red zone when we get close to it. Let's go curl flats. They're going man. We're going to hit a corner or a curl more than likely. I may hot route Martin over the top. I wonder if he can hear this. Oops, never mind. I forgot to do that. Never. So we're going to hit that. All right, just a terrible throw altogether. I forgot to do the hot route. <laughs> so it's second and 10. Let's go empty, and let me see what else we got. Uh, switch. Pivot. Let's do quick slants. This would be interesting. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go to Martin on this one. Let's see if he can get open. Get up the field. Oh, so close. So it's what, third and two? Third and two. Oh, we could try P.A. Reed again. They're going 4-3. Man, I don't know who's on who. Okay, they're doing that. I'm thinking we can run the ball to get the first down. Nope, ain't, can't do it. Ah, oh, just good defense. My left tackle just could not keep up with that defensive end. Uh, I'm going to... Let's kick the field goal. Oh, my kicker's not the best in the world. I forgot about that. But I think we can make this. It's a dead straight kick. I just got to do my part. Ah, this should go through. Barely. All right, so we got some points out of it. Three to nothing. I'll take it. So let's get back on defense and see if we can get another stop. Something like this, a really good kick. Unfortunately, I just don't have the legs to get plenty of touchbacks this season unless the wind's in my favor. So we're going to keep running basic. I, I, I hate to just throw cover two zone on them all day. I, again, I'd love to blitz, but we just can't. I, I got to keep this quarterback in the pocket. 
I mean, let's do something like this. Play action. Anybody over the middle? Nope. Intercept that. Huge play. Huge play. I'm not going to juke on him. It ain't worth it. Huge play. So our Tampa 2 is working. Our corners are getting around, trying to make plays. Just got right in front of it. Excellent. So where are we? We're on the five. I'm going to try to get a touchdown via the pass. We can try slants. And they're going man. And they're going dime. And he's doing that. So I think what we're going to do is something like this. I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think he's fast enough. Get there. All right. Good deal. So we got our first touchdown of the day. Again, you saw me call this play a ton of times. We're going to call it a bunch more. As long as I got an impact halfback, we're going to call this play a lot. And they went man, and I motioned him over to get an extra to blocker over there. Force that weak side defender to defend Martin. Good play. So we're off to a really good start. That's good. So this may be a decent matchup for us. If they had an impact halfback instead of quarterback, then I'd be really worried. But I have a feeling they're just going to throw on us all day, and I think our Tampa 2 can handle it. We'll see. So far, they're doing good. So back to defense we go. I'm going to kick it as hard as I can. Terrible kick. This may go out of bounds. I hit the button way too late. He's going to return it. We need some bodies over there. All right, good deal. He went in instead of out. I'm going to go back to my cover two. Let's bring our linebackers over. Looks like they're going back to that same formation. Let's see what they yeah, Back to another pass play. Nobody open. I'm going to see if I can make a play here. Oh, man. I thought I had a chance to get an interception. Either way, good stop by 27. I think that's my free safety, and it is. I'm going to go cover two from nickel just to give our 4-3 a little bit of a break. I'm going to do an under front this time. Nobody open there. Get a tackle. Good. So our corners are playing excellent these last two games. They're tackling in the open field. That's huge. Uh, let's just stay and call the same play. So I'm going to have to back this one up a little bit more just to help out my safeties. I'm going to spread out like this, but we're going to do a hot route with our defensive end. Oh, killer throw. Killer throw. Wow. This is what impact quarterbacks can do to you. This is why you want uh, really tall corners. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the tip. Look how close that was. Incredible throw. So now that it's back to uh, doing that. I'm going to go cover two man. Let's just throw something a little different. Just see how they handle it. I'm still going to do an under front. I'm expecting. Just so they don't go off tackle on the run. Somebody almost got to him. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. I, let me go back and look. Who got to him? Somebody did. That right guard just whiffed on it. I don't know what's he doing right here, <laughs> but he will take it. Let's go back to cover two zone. And I probably need to throw a few more different coverages at him, just besides cover two all the time. Good job, Bow. Did you see me plug through here? The center or the left tackle picked me up, but I got around him and made the tackle. Oh, that's awesome. So where are we? It's third and four again. Third and five. I don't think we're going to get this playoff. Ten to nothing. But it's third and five. I think they're going to pass here. We'll see. Oh, I guess we're going to go four, cover 4-3 uh, now. Looks like we're only going with a two-wide set. Going gun ace. So we'll go zone. Let's see if I can make a play here. Good job, Al. There was nobody over the middle. So you back up here. My responsibility is this entire area right here. I didn't see anybody go deep. I just saw a little quick game route right here. I think a drag and a little in route by the tight end. The, end, the tight end got stuck. You notice he's getting stuck right there. But he came through, and I only had one guy to defense. I just came up and made the tackle. Great play. So we're going to force another punt. Nice. I'm going to go middle fan. We just need a safe return here. And we're going to get back on offense and see if we can score again. I'm all for it if we can. 
So yes, this is an, an awesome dynasty to get into. If you've never done it, do Indiana. It's really cool. Everybody get out of the way, get in the end zone. Good deal. All right, so we're on the middle of the field. I'm going to go back to tight. I wonder if that screen is in here. Yes, it is. Let's go with that screen. Looks like they're going man. I may leave it as is. Let's see what they do. Looks like they're going to cover one. We'll go over here and just pick up some yards with green. Get about five there. If you can get your five-yard chunks in this offense, you're doing good. Smash. Let's go pivot. We haven't called that yet. I think they're blitzing both inside, guys. I think. I'm going to have Meyer go over the top. Yep, going cover zero. Oh, he's double teamed. Ah, damn. That was... Oh, great catch. Six points. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> that was... I should not have done that. I did not expect a double team there. But that's what happened. Wow, the killer throw by Watson. He was able to get around all those guys. So their secondary is terrible. We've already discussed this. But go back and look at this. So I must have missed something. I thought he... This free safety was defending... Uh, that little pivot route down there. Oh, do you see what happened here? This is a new play I designed. So this nickel or this corner right here goes into a cover one shell. Awesome. I completely forgot about that play. So he backs up. I completely just misread it. And he's being double teamed. Thankfully, it didn't matter. And my best receiver can get past all of their really, really weak secondary players. Uh, let me go back and get a thumbnail while I'm here. Something like this, maybe? That would be a pretty good one. Let me go ahead and just get that one while I'm here. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. So we are off to a killer start. Our passing game is killing it. We got two passing touchdowns already. We're going to kick an extra point. We're going to get right back on defense and keep throwing that Tampa 2 at him. Because it looks like this quarterback can't handle it. They need to mix in their runs. They got the running backs to do it. So it's up to their offense coordinator. To make some better calls. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kick kick it off here. Pretty good kick. Close to the middle. Need to get a stop. Get around this guy right here. Force him in. There we go. Good stop. So now we're gonna get right back. They're going with a smaller or just a three wide set, so I'll just go four three. And the one thing I need to check, I did not think about this. So my nickel. I, did, I should have done this earlier. If you go to my nickel situation, he's a 70 overall. My three best linebackers is a 72, 76. So there's really no advantage or disadvantage going putting this guy in or putting in the nickel. So I'm going back and forth between the 4-3 and the nickel pretty much all season. If I had a killer nickel back, then I'd be playing a lot more nickel like in this situation. But we're not going to when we can't. Maybe next season we can Going QB draw or halfback draw. Good stop there. Well, they heard what I said. I told them to go back to the run game a little bit. Now they're going four wide, so I got to go nickel on this one. Get a little bit more speed out there to match it. Uh, I'm going to crunch in. Let's do that. Oh, just whiff that tackle. Man, that was awful. Look at me just go right by this guy. I thought I was going to just rub into him and get a tackle. Nope, that didn't happen. So they get a first down. We'll go back to 4-3. That was a complete botch on my part. There's something like this. Anybody open over the middle? There we go. Somebody go get him. Going to get about eight to nine yards there. That's, that's the first time he's done that today. Won't be the last. Second and two. They can call anything at this point. I'm going to do an under front, though, just in case they decide to go run with that defensive end, maybe able to pick him up. It, ooh, good catch. I think that's a first down. That makes it what? Uh, on the 48? I may sneak in a man cover two here in a minute just to give him something a little bit different. Oh, I was able to get off my blocker, just couldn't get to him in time. So that's another first down. Close to it, second and inches. Let's go nickel man. I think they may run it just to pick up the first. 
We'll do something like this. Looks like I'm defending the tight end. Now, this isn't my strength. Man coverage like this. Good tackle there. Ooh, and they got a player hurt. Thankfully, it wasn't one of ours. We had too many injured last game. Our best defensive ends out for two months. Let's go Tampa 2 from Nickel. Or crunch in. QB choice. Good little play. Could be a holding. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's see if that happens. Yes, it's a clipping. Definitely accept that. That makes it, what, first and 25. We'll go back to 4-3. Huge penalty right there. I'm expecting passing the rest of the way, at least you would think. Play action. Sack. Came right on through. My defensive end on the other side. Nobody picked him up. Boom. Man. So it's what? Second and forever. I may have to go quarters when they go third down. or I may just do man. Probably what I'll end up doing. But let's do Tampa 2 from here. And pray they don't go super deep. So I may have to really back up on this one. Do something like this. Like just, oh, there he goes. Somebody go get him. All right, good stop. So now it's third and 24. Ooh, and, and we got a player hurt. Eh, one of our defensive linemen. We are going to go cover two man. I don't know if we should back up. I, I, well, we've got no choice now. We're going to. Thank the Lord he overshot that throw. Okay, so we got very lucky there. He beat me badly. So we're going to go middle fan. Thankfully, this quarterback can't really throw. And thank the Lord they're not running him. They could run option all day and absolutely destroy us if they felt like it. But they're not going to. They're going to pass it, which is fine. So it, the half's almost over with, which is crazy to think about. I'm going to fair catch this. Nobody hit me. No, 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 no. Somebody bumped into him. I don't know if you saw that or not. So it's first and ten. I'm going to go back to empty. Let me see what I got here. Deep attack. Let's do deep outs. This is kind of two-minute drill for us now. we got to be careful. We don't want to make too many mistakes here. But I want to get downfield and score before the half. Let's see if that'll happen. Cover two. Great throw. Great throw. Middle of the field. Nice. Good play there. So we can stay here. I think I may go deep attack this time. Let's do the same thing, more or less. Man, I think they're going cover one. He's coming down. I may try to, let's see. Nope, cover zero. We'll just go back to Meyer. Huge play. Boom, killer. They went cover zero. Go over the top. Say we didn't see any of that against Temple. None of it. So to go to either one of your go routes, I went to my best receiver. That just made the most sense to me. So we're on the 10. I'm going to go corners if I can find it. Let's go smash, my main. So let's try smash. We're going zone. I may... Let's get Martin on like something like that just in case or something over the middle. I don't see it. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, we're going to score. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. And just like that, we're blowing them out. So there's nothing over the middle, so I'm just going to go to my head trout. And somehow they just chose not to tackle him. Look, they just didn't bother. They didn't bother. Incredible. So good to see Meyer get a lot of action today. So it's 23 to nothing. Kick an extra point. And we'll move right along. I got a lot of thunderstorms going on right now. So if you hear any thunder or hear anything in the background, that's what that is. Hopefully the electricity doesn't go out on me. <laughs> we're, we're playing great. All right, a minute to go in the half. I don't know if they're going to try to do something here before the half. Let's see how aggressive they are. So our quarterback is playing better than their quarterback. Let's go cover two from nickel. I think they're going to pass. They got plenty of time and some timeouts to go. So, yeah, they're going to pass. Intercept that. So this quarterback just can't handle our zone defense. He just can't. Second and 10. 
trying to pick up the first. If I was them, I'd start running the ball and run a clock and get into the half, get into the locker room. We're going to do an under front, throw a little pressure on him without having to send extra pressure. Halfback direct. Almost get the first down. Are they going to call a timeout? They're not going to. But they're hurrying it up. I'm actually going to call a timeout. I don't like that situation. Let's let's call a timeout. I'm going to go defensive line. I'm going to go man, cover two. I think they may run it. I'm going to do an under front. I'll control the or defend the tight end. Get him. I, I made the tackle, but that was 10 yards down the field. So they call the timeout. We're going to go back to cover two. And they got a player out for the game. Haven't heard anything about our player. I guess it wasn't too serious. There he goes. Somebody go get him. Somebody go get him. Oh, he juked me right the last second. So he got another first down. So here they come. And see, we're not sending extra blitzers or anything either. Going basic run. Oh, I just, I whiffed that one. Oh, man. And my safety whiffed it as well. Did you see that? Ooh, a flag. I think that's offsides on us. Yep. That happens all the time in that situation. And they're fixing score on us, so let's try. Uh, we'll just go back to cover two zone. Now that they're running the ball, notice how well they can do when they're running the ball, because guess what? Our defensive line isn't very good. Take advantage of it. Screen. Nope, there he goes. Get him, get him, get him. I can't get to him. And he got the touchdown. But he's hurt. Injured his hip. I injured his hip. Let's see how serious it is. But they scored, so they got a touchdown back. Ooh, they're going goal line, apparently. Let's go. Uh, let's go man lock, I guess. See, he's not out there, so I don't know if they're just going to do a basic run. We're going to flip it. I just got annihilated on the line. I just got shut back to no win. Our, again, our defensive line isn't very good. So 15 seconds to go. Good news is we get the ball back and start the third quarter. Let's see if we can make a good decision here. Just nothing really open. I'm going to take a knee and just head to the half. Let's do a QB kneel. So one of our defensive players is out for the game, Antonio Mann. We don't have much depth anywhere, so, I mean, I can go back and look at it. We can look at that once the half ends, but we're going to go to the locker room here. All right, end of the first half, 24-8. to eight. I wonder if I can save this while I'm here. Is it number... I like to do a save state. I forgot how to do that. Is it F1? Okay, so we save the state. All right, so just in case something happens, let's go to uh, let's go to in game strategy because again we got a lot of storms going on over here. Let's go and look at some stats. Two forty two to their one sixty five. We're throwing the ball really well. Uh, both teams are doing good on third down, but they had two turnovers and we've taken advantage of those. Uh, individual stats: fourteen of sixteen for Watson, three touchdowns, no picks. Having a perfect game so far, honestly. We're not running the ball a whole lot, but our offense doesn't really have to. But Martin's doing his part there. But receiving Meyer, Martin, and Green all got four receptions apiece. Meyer is having a field day. He's got two touchdowns with one hundred thirty-four yards already. Martin's got a touchdown. You go to defense. McPherson is leading in tackles, our strong safety, which is probably not a good thing. But tackles for loss, he's got one. And, or no, Henderson's got a tackle for loss. And Anderson's got a sack, the lone one. And McAfee and McPherson got interceptions. So I want to go over to in game strategy and go to injury report. I just want to see who got injured over here. So their quarterback is out for the game. So we got lucky there. So he's out. So I wonder how if they're going to run the ball more because of that. That's actually maybe a bad thing. So we got another defensive end out. So our defensive end situation isn't very good, but that was one of our few strengths on the team. So our top two defensive ends are out. But, hey, I just, you know, what do you do? Uh, so let's head into the game. Let's see if we can get that touchdown back. This is why you recruit and try to build depth and such. Let's see if we can get a return here. Ah, I juked a little too early on that one. So we're on the right hash. 
Let's go back to empty. Let's go switch smash. They're going zone. Uh, I could try to hit Meyer over the middle. Uh, let's see. He's not open. We'll have to go over here. Just get whatever yards you can with Abney. I think Meyer got stuck on a corner. Second and six. Smash. Uh, let's go gun spread. Let me go. I have it on my mind. Let's go Y stick. This is a chance to give back to Meyer. We'll go to either him or Abney on this one. Cover one. Griller, killer throw, first down. I was fixing to get sacked. Good play there. Let's go wide corner. They're going zone. So, yep, their quarterback is out, but I'm curious to see if that means they're going to run more or not. Nothing open there. Ooh, that's intercepted. That, he got stuck on the, that fender. Go back and look at this. He got stuck on him. And I didn't really have anybody else open. Oh, it's, we're very fortunate that wasn't an interception. Second and 10. Let's go P.A. Reed. We're going nickel man. Who is on the slot receiver? That guy, I guess. Can I get around? Just ah, just nowhere to go. Just good defense. So that makes it what? Third and seven. We can try deep outs. If they're going zone. Uh, I don't know what's best here. Let's try. Cover three. Ah, oh, just good defense. I just there was nobody to go to. I just had nobody to throw to. It was just good coverage across the board. So we're gonna punt it. I probably could have called something differently there. Let's see if I can really boot this thing. Really good straight kick. We just need to get somebody down there. Somebody get to him in time. Tackle. There you go. We flipped the field. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the touchdown. So they got a little bit of momentum. Let's see what they do with it. I'm going to do another under front. So they got, again, dual threat quarterbacks across the board. Hopefully, they, see, they're going to go right to that run game. That's smart. There he goes. Just, that's smart. Just, we're, our defensive line's terrible. So now it makes me wonder, do I need to start doing some more man if they're going to run so much? Do this. Bring everybody over like that. I'm defending that tight end. Get a tackle, Al. Good job, open field. Good open field tackle. Love it. So that is what? Uh, second and nine? Let's go back to zone. Uh, we're going to crunch in. Please don't run up the middle. Don't do halfback direct. That ain't good. That ain't good. Make a play 27. Overshot it. Good deal. So it is what? Third and nine. Uh, we'll stay. We'll try our Tampa two. I'm going to have to back out just a little bit more. Do something like this. We need to stop here in the worst way. Can we do it? Going screen. Why are they going screen? And we got a sack. Nice. He didn't even go to the screener. I don't know what he was doing there. Let's just do middle fan. We're not going to get a return out of this or anything. So let's just play it safe. Get the ball back and try to redeem ourselves from that last drive. Uh, yeah, we'll have to fair catch that one. Middle of the field, let's go to our middle of the field formation. I'm going to go back to tight. We'll go back to screen. This time we're going zone. I'm bounce this over to Martin. I'm going to give him some help, though. Let's bring this guy over. Get away from that impact linebacker. Get about four there. Let's go spread. Let's go back to stick. This time we're going zone. This will either go to Bennett or to Martin, or maybe Green. He's not open. Nobody's open. We'll go over to Martin. Get a first down. Had to go to my third read on that one. So that is what? First and 10. We can stay here. Let's go back to P. Reed. Zone dime. I may hand this ball off. We'll see. I, I like the number. Nope, we're going to keep it. 
Let's go over here. Just get something with Bennett. They pick up two yards on the play that makes it what? Second and eight? What else do we got? Stick. Uh, let's do Y corner. We'll do the right hash version. I'm going zone. Uh, this may go back to Martin. Yep. It's not going to go right back to him. Terrible throw. Good catch. So that makes it what? Third and six. I may go, let's do slot seams. And they're going zone. This worries me a little bit. I wonder, I may get him on a hot route just in case. First down. Woo, just enough. Woo, that was close. So you go back, I've done a little hot read to my left receiver in the slot, and they had a hole over the middle. Just in time before I got sacked. Killer play. First down. Let's go empty. Let me see what I got here. Slants. Let's go. Yeah, let's try quick slants. Back to man. We may just quickly bounce this over to Martin. I think we got the numbers for it. Yep. Good little pick. Go to your best player. Might as well get a first down. What else do we got? Pivot. Let's go do corner strike. Going man, several options here. Let's just see what those safeties do first. Cover one. Ah, threw it out of bounds. So that's what, second and ten? I may have to go back to P.E. Reed. The going man, I may hand the ball off here. Uh, if we can get a block on that linebacker. Get a block. Ooh, just enough of a nudge. Ooh, get a first down. Huge play. Huge play. Look at this killer spin. I didn't do anything here. He just kind of went around him right there. Incredible play. Get the first. Let's go back to empty. Let's see what we got here. Cross. Uh, we can try Y screen again. We're going to go to somebody on the right side. Maybe. Uh, actually, I may go. Let's try... Get up the field. Oh, and he fumbled it, but we got out of bounds. So the reason why I went to him, because look at the separation between the safety and Martin. That seemed obvious to go to him. All we needed was decent blocking. So this is just a quick throw, and I was able to sneak past that corner to get a first down, and he blocked it, or he fumbled it. Very fortunate we got the ball back there. I want to go, where's it at? It's smash. Let's go smash. Ah, oh, they're going zone. I was hoping to go man. I'd like to hit one of those flag routes. I'm going to bring him up so Mayer has, Meyer has more of a chance to get a catch here just in case. But nope, we're going to go to Martin. First down. Hole over the middle. First read. Gaping hole above your center. Go to your read there. So where are we? On the six? I don't know if they're going to go. He's about to pass out. Uh. I got to be careful here. I don't want him to fumble, and they're going goal line. This will be interesting. Let's bring in an extra defender over, or an extra blocker. Get outside. Ah, just good defense. I had nowhere to go, and he's not the fastest in the world. I hope it's at the seven. Ooh, it is. So we got lucky here. So now we got five receivers out there. Let me go. Let me go corner. Ah, uh, Call the wrong play. But they're going man, so this still may work. I may go... We're going to go to Abney. Get it, Abney! Get it! Get it! Oh, good defense. Good one-on-one -on -one situation in the corner. But that corner just made a really good play there. So that makes it what? Uh, on the seven? I don't want to throw an interception here. I don't want to do anything goofy. So let's go wide receiver under. Under going zone. So this should be a very simple read, either the Meyer or Price. Ooh, terrible throw. And I threw it too early. He was wide open over the middle, too, except I look at that linebacker hover over him. I was too impatient. I threw it too early. If I would have waited another second, that probably would have been a touchdown. So we're going to kick another field goal. You could technically could call that an interference, but I don't. That's okay. That happened uh, to them earlier in the game. So let's see if I can get a field goal. Go over here. 
Should be right down the middle. Good deal. So we got something out of it. I was really hoping for a passing touchdown right there. I just goofed up. Again, I threw it way too early. The timing was good if he didn't get bumped into that linebacker. So we got some points back. Better than nothing. So let's go and see if we can get another stop here. So now they don't have any impact guys on offense. So that really hurt them with their quarterback out. I'm just curious to see if they're going to run the ball a bit more now because of it. We're going to do this. I'm going to do an under front just in case they go off tackle. Play action. Ah, good play. Play action. My linebacker couldn't get over there in time. Let's do zone now. That's that tight end who's pretty talented. Let's do an over front, just in case they go up the middle or something. Play action. Intercept that. And we'll take it. Good open field tackle. Makes it, what, second and ten? Second and nine? Let's go back to zone. We can run a lot more man once we get better players in here. It's going to take a while to get there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Good job. All right, so it's third and long. I may... Yes, we'll just stick with this play. I'm going to do a... I don't think they're going to get the playoff in time. They're not going to. All right, end of the third quarter, 27 to 8. Can we survive this quarter and get a big upset win? That would be awesome if we could. So let's try that. We'll do our Tampa 2. I think I'm going to hot route my defensive end just in case he wants to run away and scramble. Uh, get over the top. Ooh, intercept that. McPherson. Ooh, oh, man, I was right there. That was close. Go back and look at this. So I had somebody, they run a deep post, number 80 right there. So I'm running for my life. I'm like, ooh, he's wide open. But then they threw to McPherson for whatever reason. Good stop by our best safety. And I thought I had a chance to get an interception, but I didn't. But that's okay. We got to stop. That's huge. And they're going to go for it here. All right, let's go back to our Tampa 2. You kind of can't blame him for doing this. I'm going to have him do that. Our defensive end, he's going to spy again, just in case that dude runs. Ah, oh, great. We'll take it. Dumb play. So we're getting the ball back, and we're fixing to really put it on him here the rest of the way. Let's do that. Let's go back to slot outs. They're going 4-3. Uh, who's on who? Uh, let's see what these safeties do. Cover one. Good catch by Bennett. Have you noticed we haven't had many drops today? Against Temple, it was awful. But what we can do is do a little run on the clock, a fourth quarter. I think it's a good idea to do so. Now, I'm doing a screen. We don't have a ton of screens in this offense, but we do here. But they're going man, so we're going to go to somebody on the left. We're just going to read, apparently, this one safety right here. I'm, uh, look, that tells me they're probably going cover one, which means we'll just go to green on the right side. But let's just run that clock. Yep, we're going to go cover one. Ooh, they double teamed. I was not expecting that. Ooh, i got to remember that next time. So it's third and three. Let's go P. Reed. They got that linebacker sitting there. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip it. And I may, yes, we're going to flip this. I think I may just throw the ball to Martin. Do something like this and just get a first down. Good little adjustment. So I've done that because I flipped it because of this guy right here. I wanted to go away from him. Either I was going to hand the ball off or I was going to just throw it to Martin. But they shifted their line to that side. So it just made sense to just to throw it on that one. And we got the first. I want to keep throwing. What do we got here? Let me look. Let's do wide receiver under. We'll do the right hash version. We're going man. I would love to hit green on that angle route. Let's see if that happens. The clock has stopped. Cover one. Nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to have to go over here. And he dropped it. Good defensive play. I think they went cover one. And they were spying over the middle. So this is a middle of the field, over the middle play. I got the drag and I got a slant. 
or an angle round, and that was just a perfect play call against that. I probably should have went to Martin. Look at the separation he had right there. Not bad. And Bennett dropped it. So that makes it, what, second and 10? I probably need to just hand the ball off. We need to run a little clock. Because this game isn't over with yet. I think it is, but it's, you just, again, you just never know. Let's just hand the ball off. Eh, good defense. Nowhere to go there. So that makes it, what, third and forever? We'll go deep attack. I will go to either green or may just dump it off to Martin. We're going to run some clock until we got to figure out what to do on fourth down. I don't know if my kicker is good enough to make this kick. That's going to be, what, a 47-yarder? He's just not that good. He's had two field goals already, so but you never know. But I'd like to get the first down instead. Let's see if we can do that. Going with a – I don't know what that is. Uh, intercepted. Good defense. I had time to throw it. I'm going to go for this. We can't – I can't kick that field goal. I just don't think I'm good enough to do that. So let's just call something else. I'm just kind of looking here. We'll go back to deep attack. We'll do it from empty. And we're going to – they're going zone. I'm going to have him do that. First down. First down, they went cover two and they blitzed that linebacker on the left side. You notice that? Again, that's what happened in the first half. They blitzed that dude, leaving him wide open right there. Killer throw. Let's keep this thing going. Uh, so from here, what I'm going to do is do a basic dive. I should have been doing dives all day because their weakness up front is their defensive tackle. So let's see if we can find a crease up the middle with Martin. Again, I'll probably just run clock the rest of the way, even though I wouldn't mind getting another passing touchdown before we end this thing. So I was not expecting Indiana to get less points than Temple did, but it looks like that's going to happen. Get up the middle. Good defense. That dude was just sitting there waiting on it. Let's do QB choice, but I'm just going to do a handoff with Martin. And then we'll figure out what to do on third down. I may try to hit another corner route or a flag route, depending on what they show me and kind of where the distance is at. Get down to a few seconds. Then we'll hand the ball off. Not a whole lot of rep. Juke it. Six points. Get in there. Nice. Nice. Just basic off tackle run. One juke and it was all she wrote. Good for him. Great game. Huge win for us, honestly. Now, next game is going to be tougher. Of course, I just said that with Indiana, it's going to be tougher than Temple. But it's all matchups, and this was just a good matchup for us. Thankfully, their quarterback, it just isn't a good thrower of the football. He was just throwing too many interceptions. With Akron, we know what they have. I built that team, and they got the best running back in the country. And they're going to hand him the ball a ton, and we're going to see how – well, our defense can slow that down. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be tough. <laughs> and this was a terrible kick. I botched this one. I hit the button way too early. They're going to get good field position. I would put in my second string, but I don't have one. Like, I mean, we can try that. Uh, not here. I'm going to go, like, mass subs. Like, we could go ahead and try it. I think we can get by without it. But, you know, anyways. I have my doubts, though, but we'll just keep it 4-3. Can we do 4-3 enough? Look I got, look how much talent I got. <laughs> Not a whole lot. It's bad. That's okay. Ah, Good play. See, imagine they would have done that a whole lot more often today. One of their best players, and they just chose not to give him the ball much. So that's on their coordinator. And let's do an over front this time. Good job, Al. I'm getting better with my open field tackling. I'm not the best at it, but I'm getting better. Let's just stick with zone. If they run it here again, then I may have to go to man. Let's do an over front. Good job, Al. I'm making tackles out there. Third and four. I make. Uh, let's just stick with the same play. Our zone seems to be doing okay stopping the run. 
Let's do another over front. Get him. Oh, man, that's a holding. Call it. So another first down. We'll go man. So now i got somebody who's not even a middle linebacker. This is like a halfback right here. And I'm making the tackle with a halfback. That's how decimated we are at certain positions. So it looks like they've conceded officially. They're just going to run the ball the entire time. Ah, oh, I went the wrong way. Good tackle, though. That makes it, what, third and three? Let's go back to man. Watson is your MVP of the day. I, I halfway agree with that. Play action. Oh, good job, Al. Made the tackle. I thought I was going to get an interception. Are they going to go for this? They probably are. They're going goal line. Ugh. Do I got the players to do this? Ooh, they're calling timeout. They may call something different. So why do they just do that? That makes no sense. We'll go man lock. Look, look at my line. Or look at my entire goal line package. Not very good, but maybe we can get a stop. That'd be cool. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, he got it. So they're going to call another timeout. Now they may start throwing, I guess. Let's go linebackers. We'll go zone. Let's do an under front this time. Play action. Ooh, I, man, I had a chance right there, and I just whiffed it. Second and 10. So play calling defensively is very simple in this defense, that's for sure. I only got a handful of plays I'm using. Anybody open? Get a tackle. So that makes it what? Third and four? We'll just go back to the same play. And we'll do an over front. See what happens here. Ah, I, I curled in way too much on that one. That was my fault. So another first down. So he's got 160 yards on the day, but it doesn't feel like it. Honestly, I don't remember one humongous breakaway run or anything. So good old cover two man zone. It's like, in general, like some of the easiest stuff to defend or to go to attack. I, I mean, for me, it is. So I'm, I'm just curious when we're going up against some really talented teams, what that's going to be like. Real good passing teams. They're going to really attack our coverages easily, I would think. But we'll get better with it. Anybody over the middle? Nope. Get ah, I whiffed it. I whiffed it. I got to quit doing that. I got I got to stick with my middle linebacker. They got a first down 100% because of me on that one. And I don't feel like taking credit for it, but I just played stupid on that one. So what is it? First and goal. So it looks like they may sneak in a touchdown before this is over with. Oh, man. I thought I had a chance there. So that makes it, what, 34 to 15? I guess they'll kick an extra point. But otherwise, great win. Our defense played well. Offense played well. Huge upset. That's just a big game for us for this program. A nice little program building win. They're going to go onside kick. We're going to try to get the ball, then we'll just take a knee and end this thing officially. I got to control this guy. Ooh, I done it. Done the wrong one. Ooh, he just get down. There we go. Let's take a knee and seal the deal. Get down here. So I think our starting quarterback, I think that was the right call, keeping him as a starter. He's had two really good games so far. He's been just really accurate, I feel like. He had a killer game today. I mean, just really, I think he had one really bad throw. Like, just really shanked it, more or less. But 34 to 15, great win. Let's go ahead. I accidentally hit the button. Didn't get to see the end scenes. 
We're going to look at some stats. we got to look at a few other things, and then I'll let you go for the day. Let's go to stats and scores. 374 to their 274. Majority of our work was done in the first half. They Their defense played a little bit better in the second half. But 342 yards passing to their 83. We didn't get sacked once, so we're doing a good job getting the ball out quickly. Uh, they done a little bit better job on third down than we did, but both teams done solid there. But the key is no turnovers, and they had two. And what was their biggest problem? We saw at the beginning of the video. They were one of the worst teams in turnover differential. Well, and it showed up here. You go to individual stats. Watson, 27 to 37, 342 yards, three touchdowns, and no picks. Great game. Running the ball, Martin got the hand, you know, got to carry the ball a little bit, but his average is good enough, and he was able to get a rushing touchdown. Receiving, though, Martin got 11 receptions. He ended up finishing that one up. Again, that's just another way to give your best player the ball. Uh, you look at the yardage, Meyer had 143 yards, but look who led in touchdowns. It was Meyer again, He and a lot of that was in the first half. You go to defense, McPherson led in tackles. He's our best defensive player. Tackles for loss, Evans and McPherson got a couple of sacks and a couple of interceptions. All right, let's finish this bad boy up and mentally and spiritually prepare for Akron. Let's go ahead and sim the week. So Akron, they're still ranked. They're one and one. Then we're going to head into conference play. I'm really excited about heading into the conference play. I'm, it's, it's, I've never really done a Big East dynasty before, so I don't get to play these teams too often. But let's go check out the top 25 for the week. USC, Miami, Virginia, Iowa. Then you go to Texas Tech, Maryland, South Carolina, Virginia Tech one. Then you got AM, Nebraska, Ohio State, Michigan one. Then you got Georgia, Tennessee, Purdue, NC State over Penn State. Then you have Akron beating Rutgers, Texas, LSU, Florida. And then you have Florida State and Cal. Looks like we only saw one upset, and that was us over Indiana. In season recruiting. Let's look at this. So we're down with our tight end. He's got it down to his top five. We're, all, we're in killer shape here. We just need him to hurry up and uh, get ready to take a visit so we can get him to commit. Let's go over to our free safety. He is ready for an official visit. Awesome. I'm going to do West Virginia because there's a two-week window between this one and Rutgers. West Virginia may be worse or better. My guess are probably better than Rutgers, but I'm going to take the chance and let's just have him come for that one right there. Great shape here, of course. And then our defensive tackle. We're doing 20% of the points, and that seems to be more than good enough to have him uh, have us in his top five. Or it's definitely the number one spot. So recruiting is looking really solid. The earlier these guys can commit, we still may have a lingering prospect out there that still hasn't really decided, you know, to narrow down his top eight or two his top five, and maybe we could sneak on one of their lists. That would be nice, like we've done in the last season with Akron. Top 25 polls, Oklahoma, Florida State, Cal, USC, Miami, Texas Tech, so on and so forth. I don't know where we're at. I need to check them the next game. We're probably in the 60s or so, if I had to guess. Has been watched. There he is, Brandon Gardner. That's who we're going to go up against next. Should be a lot of fun. Then you got a bunch of random dudes behind him. You go and check out Players of the Week and nationally. We have halfback for LSU, killer game. Then you got a defensive tackle for Arizona. Had a good game as well. Let's go over to the Big East. Uh, quarterback for UConn. We're going to take them on here in a couple weeks. Looks like he had a really good game and then a free safety for South Florida. Had a really good game. You go down to conference standings. I don't think anybody's played anyone yet in the conference. Nope, looks like they haven't. We can check out our team info screen. So our best defensive ends out for seven weeks. Our number two defensive end was hurt for the rest of the game. Thankfully, we didn't need him apparently today. But Watson's off to a great start. Matt, almost 600 yards with five touchdowns. Martin is still leading in receiving and rushing. I think the receiving is going to change over time, especially if Meyer could continue to do what he's doing. But look at the defensive side. Stenslick is leading in the tackles, our middle linebacker. Then you got Evans with one sack. I think we got two or three different guys with one sack. And the same with the interceptions. McAfee is technically leading there. But I know McPherson's got one as well. But let's go check out. Big Bad Akron, the team that I built, they don't have any injuries. Lance Fine is their starting quarterback. He's already thrown three picks, already got 611 yards. Tell me they are throwing the ball a lot more than usual. Garner only has like 87 yards on the season, but that don't mean nothing. I mean, we'll still kind of see what we got to do against him. I'm guessing they're going to run the ball a lot with him. Coleman is their leading receiver. That's cool. And look at their defensive leaders, Big Ben Wilson. That's that big defensive end we picked up. He was our backup for the most time. I'd love to have him on our team. 
He already has 16 tackles. Tereshinsky's leading in sacks. And then Blair is leading with interceptions. So you go over here, and we're going to preview Akron. They got more talent than we do. Again, that's the just what four years of hard recruiting will do, uh, especially in the MAC. They're still ranked. You look at their stats, um, pass offense is 33rd in the country. Their defense looks solid across the board, but they're turning the ball over. Now, I don't know who their coach is. Like, we can go over to coach options. I don't know. It's this kid right here. So, Alabama a and I'm pretty sure that is their coach. So, that's what happens. When you move on to another team, an FCS or a 1AA coach gets moved up, and this guy took over. And he's a five-star coach. Thanks. I, you know, he, hopefully he's going to send me a birthday card because of that. But look, he runs the running gun, and they're balanced. So they are just a balanced offense. But again, it all still comes down to who their impact players are, and I'm guessing Brandon Garner is going to be at least one of them. So that's who we're fixing to go up against. Pretty cool. Really excited. Maybe we could sneak in another upset if we keep throwing the ball well enough. We'll see how they handle our Tampa too, and maybe we could pull off the win. It'll be pretty neat. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.